we want to find the domain of the natural log. And so when we're doing that, if you recall, we originally said we had f of x equals the log, this is base e of x. And rather than writing log base e, we just actually express this as f of x equals the natural log of x. And now that we've done that, you'll hear me call that, like I said, ln sometimes, instead of natural log. Now to find the domain, we're actually going to do the same thing we did before. We know that the domain has to be positive. So I'm going to take what's inside the parentheses and set it greater than zero. Now I want to get x all by itself, so remember I need to um, subtract 4 from both sides. I get minus x is greater than minus 4. I need to divide by negative 1 on both sides. When you divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality, except that's not a 4, sorry, it's a 1, and you'll get x is less than 4. So that means that my domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive 4, not including it. Now what about over here on the right? I've just got the natural log of x squared, or ln of x squared. Well, same thing, I need x squared to be greater than 0. Now remember, if I take the square root, I'm still going to get x is greater than 0. But remember that it's actually going to be plus or minus, so I'm going to have x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0. Now when I do that, I'm going to actually have to graph that, because remember we can't have it equal to 0, that's the key. So it means it's going to go from this on the right side, and it's also going to be on the left side, never including it. So if I do interval notation, I get negative infinity to 0, not including it, or from 0 to positive infinity.